Thank you for joining us for day one of the two-day HPC AI Advisory Council Swiss Conference and HPC XXL User Group. My name is Brian Sparks, and I'm the Director of Worldwide Operations for the Council, will be today's moderator. We have a robust agenda for the next three hours with great topics and speakers from CSCS, ETH Zurich, Intel, Seneca, Huawei, Intersect 360, and The Ohio State University. I encourage everyone to ask questions via the chat QA window, and our presenters will try to answer them after their presentation. This webinar is being recorded and the sessions and the slides will be available on Council's conference website over the coming days. I'd like to thank Xscale Solutions for the sponsorship of the conference and to our media partners, Gabriel Consulting, HPC Wire, Inside HPC, Intersect 360, The Next Platform, and Scientific Computing World for their ongoing coverage of the Council's worldwide conferences and activities. With that, let me introduce to you Hussein Haraki from CSCS to kick off the conference. Hussein. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. It's really nice and pleasure to see you here. I'm happy to see many faces, many names. Gilad, good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, and this is, uh, you know, we, we were talking before earlier, we were talking about, is it that like the 12th HPC advisory or is it the 10th? If we want to count the last two years, I mean, webinar instead of face-to-face -face meetings. We definitely tried hard, actually, to, um, to resist and say that we would like to see people again in Lugano, face-to-face -face meeting. However, you know, we had a deadline in December and to decide if we're going to go with webinar or if we're going to go face-to-face -face meeting. And, you know, if you remember, December was a big problem, especially regarding the COVID and how we would move forward. So we had to decide for a webinar. Definitely, we're going to resist for next year, we have dates. This is from uh, the 3rd of April next year. It's reserved to the 6th of April. So this is dates we're going to resist as much as possible, even taking a risk to make it face-to-face -face meeting. So welcome uh, again for this webinar and hope that we will be able to cover as much as possible what we lost. Gilad? I think we had, uh, we, we, we thought about putting a few slides on. I thought I'm being, I'm being attacked from multiple places. Uh, we, thought, we thought about putting a few slides on, but uh, we, we, can, we can skip those slides. Um, so first, it's, uh, it's great, seeing, great seeing you, Hussein. Uh, it's great, uh, great uh, virtually, virtually. Um, and uh, uh, first, it's great, you know, we didn't do it last year and so forth, but it's great to restart in a, in a virtual, virtualized online way next year, hopefully to be in, uh, back in Lugano. I miss the food, I miss the place, <laughs> I miss the conference center. Uh, we, did, we did prepare, um, I think, two days with great content for different, uh, different angles, new research activities and so forth. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward uh, for the sessions. A um, little bit, a little bit about the council. I would assume that probably most of the people here, or if not everyone, uh, knows about the council. But just a quick recap: uh, the council was established in two thousand and eight in order to bridge the gap between HPC technology and its usage. And as part of that, we are managing multiple conferences with our great partners. And thanks again. Uh, CSCS for a great partnership on, on with doing the, the Swiss conference or today in the, the conference in the Swiss time. And, uh, and beside of that, uh, managing uh, student cluster competitions around the world, which is important, and operating a small competing center, not as large as exists in CSCS, but it's a small center that uh, support multiple um, systems on different architectures, different technologies that help people to explore different capabilities, benchmark, test, uh, write case studies, and so forth. 
So we have uh, uh, two great days in front of us. Uh, this year there is no raffle. We used to have raffle at the end of end of the conference, so we don't have a raffle. Uh, sorry for that. Um, and it's also great to combine, uh, continue to combine uh, um, the the XSL uh, and the HPC Council Conference together. And uh, we hope that we'll, we we can continue with that. And next year, um, again, being being in Lugano. Um, I also want to thank Brian and Cindy and Sydney and uh, the rest of the folks that help with the organization. Great. Uh, thanks to you, Hussein. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tell you the same thing tomorrow, but, you know, might be different people. Um, and uh, I think we have uh, a very interesting keynote ahead of us uh, mm. from Thorsten. Definitely, definitely. No, coming on, no, but, before have... that, but before that, there, we, we have Michele. Uh, that will, yes, will before, say... before we call Michele, actually, uh, yeah, it, it's interesting to see the the work done for the student cluster competition, because I believe that this year we are expecting, for ISC, we're expecting the online level and the um, local one, which is, um, I'm happy that, um, that the ETH group is going to join both of them. And so we'll be just in, in, in Germany, bringing the hardware and working on the student cluster competition. The second thing, which is, I believe, since you mentioned, since we started and how this HPC advisor started in Lugano, you know, uh, we, were, we were, me and Michele, we had a short talk about it earlier, and we were reflecting about how this, uh, how that, um, what are the changes face the HPC advisor, starting from being a workshop for technical workshop where people were discussing, you know, uh, at the early time we're training people for using Mellanox Interconnect, you know, and then we start introducing other stuff, bringing some application level and then some scientific um, uh, science, some scientific talks where we had like wonderful keynotes touching climate, touching developing of networks. We have seen uh, really interesting and now going and getting driven by by the market. What's the, how the HPC uh, community is driving now that has an impact on, on, on our talks and what we're trying to focus on. So this year we're expecting to see a little bit more about the cloud, you know, grouping, partitioning kind of machines where users could customize things and integrating with cloud. With this, I think now I will I will be calling Michele Delorenzi, which is our, our CSCS deputy director. And uh, I'm happy always to see him and give him like, uh, you know, a short time to give us a warm welcome. So Michele, stay yeah, tuned. Just, just before Michele, just before Michele. And it's great to see that Michele dressed nicely today. He has his I am on. over the rest. <laughs> Yes, his jacket on, and yes, so, so great to see you, Michele. Uh, one thing before Michele uh, uh, and give his, his opening talk. Um, Usain, I think you are completely right. And, uh, and I think what we've seen today in the world of HPC and the world of AI, which is essentially you know, the same, give or take, um, is that we, we see more applications and more users. And HPC will go everywhere, and that means that HPC and the cloud will merge in a way of, or in some way or form to deliver supercomputing as a service, right? Uh, multiple years ago, well, many, 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 many years ago, uh, electricity become, becomes a service, it becomes a service, right? So you don't need to build your own power plant when you buy an electronic or device, for example. Um, several years ago, computing becomes a service. You need to have more computing, then you start getting computing from the cloud, and you don't need to, to build your own data center if you want to get computing, right? You can just access the cloud and get computing there. Mm -hmm. Now, now supercomputing will need to become a service because everyone will need to use supercomputing for AI, for scientific, mm -hmm. and that's where we see cloud and supercomputing being merged. And I agree with you, it's, it's exciting time. Well, Every year, it's exciting time. Um, so thanks for that. I think we completely agree, and we'll see the, 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 the transition in the talks that we'll start talking about supercomputing as a service. Michele, sorry that I took a couple of minutes. It's all yours. Great to see you. Looking forward. So uh, welcome from my side. Thank you for giving me the possibility to welcome all of you to the uh, to the conference. And again, I wrote the wrong um, after two years of pandemic, I should be do it better with. Uh, so do I, maybe we need a third year to to test it. So to the welcome uh, uh, from my side. 
So uh, again, I have to share with you just a picture of Lugano, since you cannot be here in um, in person. Uh, the big advantage if uh, I share a, a picture like this and you cannot come to Lugano is like, I'm not necessarily to show you what the reality is. Uh, so in fact, today is quite a foggy day, no sun, and uh, but still... Uh, this is uh, just taken a few minutes ago from my office outside. And uh, about um, uh, what happened in last year, uh, there is only one uh, CSCS. I just want to share with you one slide, a very important slide. is because we, on April 12, uh, 2021, we did announce uh, uh, ALPS, which is uh, the new supercomputer we are installing here in uh, Lugano. And uh, ALPS uh, is, uh, let's say, has been announced together with uh, Hewlett Packard and uh, NVIDIA, and is planned to come online in 2023. And uh, it is we call not just a supercomputer, but it's a research infrastructure. And uh, this machine really replace uh, uh, CSS existing pit stain supercomputing computer, which is getting a little bit uh, old and uh, will still be used as a general purpose system and will be open to a broad community of researchers in Switzerland and the rest of the world. But there's been also be announced about a AI capable supercomputer. And that's why um, there are really the possibility to use also AI capa capability, but still also to be used more in the traditional way uh, to do science. So it's really putting the best of the two worlds together. And um, uh, ALPS is based on the new HP uh, Cray X supercomputer product line and uh, will uh, feature is featuring the HP Cray software stack for a software-defined HPC experience. And uh, my colleague uh, Sadaf will uh, give you more details in, uh, in her, during her presentation. And uh, we will uh, deploy the NVIDIA HGX supercomputing platform, including NVIDIA GPUs, NVIDIA HPC SDK, and new ARM-based NVIDIA Grace CPU. Okay, now... Uh, Again, uh, back to this conference, and uh, this conference started, uh, so I think we are in the 11th year, so last year we had 10, maybe now we are 11, and uh, it's based also on the commitment CSCS is having about uh, knowledge sharing. And this is very important uh, because uh, we are running supercomputer, we are running technical infrastructure, and it's very essential that uh, the people working in this environment can share with, uh, with uh, uh, each other, but also with vendors. And here really, we welcome all the vendors behind uh, supporting this event, their, um, the exchange of knowledge. And uh, in, my, in the rest of my presentation, I would like to give you some examples on, uh, of our commitment to knowledge sharing we are having at CSCS. That this aspect of this conference is just one of them. So if I, uh, first of all, uh, the first meeting we will follow, we'll have in May 19, there is a community, a large community in Switzerland dedicated to the knowledge exchange in, in the HPC field, which is called HPCCH, the Swiss HPC Service Provider Community. And uh, on that date, in May 19, we will have a forum, so the small conference, just one day, which is, will be dedicated to HPC configuration management and will be hosted by one of our members, which is EMPA. You can see here uh, on the screen uh, who are the members uh, of this community. We have uh, about 20 or 24 members from academia. Uh, we go from Chile. Uh, an hospital like SHUV, CSCS, uh, EMPA, EPFL Lausanne, ETH Zurich, and so on, uh, continuing to the end of the alphabet with uh, Università della Luz Italiana, University of Zurich, or uh, VSL, or the Zurich University of Applied Science. But we also have members from industry and uh, like uh, Casale, Credit Suisse, or going to the end to test system Schweiz. So these are very nice meeting where about 50 people, uh, they meet together. And this time is without vendors. So there, we also need from time to time to be without vendors. And we discuss about the latest development we have in Switzerland. 
And we will have a second meeting in the autumn, but uh, the date is not scheduled today. Then uh, about uh, sharing, so we want to meet you in person. And uh, since we, we didn't have the chance now to meet you in person, we will have it in May, uh, May, June, May 30, June 1st. And we will, uh, CSCS, yes, we'll have a booth at uh, ISC 22 after uh, the last years we could not meet in person. And uh, please visit at, uh, us at ISC 22. Uh, we, you already know the booth number, which is H810. And we are all going back to the Hamburg, where my story about participating in uh, ISC started. After that, uh, we have a very important conference for uh, us in Switzerland, but also in Europe, which is uh, growing on, in importance every year, which is the PASC uh, conference, PASC 22, which will be a hybrid in person, in Basel and online. And uh, uh, the PASC conference is uh, an interdisciplinary conference where we also want to exchange competencies in scientific computing and computational science. So what we are doing, we are bringing together scientists from very different scientific fields to discuss together how HPC is helping them solving important science problems and uh, uh, how they use the HPC uh, technology. There is a motto, a title for this year meeting, which is computing and data for all humankind. And that's, uh, we try to have presentation related to this topic in, in any case, also the different keynote presentations. We have keynote presentation, we have mini symposia, we have peer review papers, just uh, remember you that this conference is sponsored uh, both from ETH Zurich CSES and also the ACM, uh, Association for Computer Machinery, that our la older sister is the Supercomputing Conference. And this is the older conference being sponsored by, by ACM, uh, uh, the group on, uh, on HPC of ACM uh, outside the US. Then uh, in July still, uh, CSCS together with the local university here in Ticino, which is Università della Svizzera Italiana, UZI, will organize a summer university 22. And this is, uh, will be in hybrid, in person and online. The last two years we had organized it just online, but we decided this year to organize it in uh, person um, too. And we had uh, the possibility in this way to serve about 100 participants coming from Europe, Switzerland, Europe, and all uh, the world now with the virtual component. So there is also a possibility to subscribe, to, say, to register to this summer school, which will have two components. The online one will be from July 11 to 21. And then we want to give the possibility for people to meet in person, to have a personal exchange. And uh, we will meet in Valle Maggia, which is a largest valley here in Ticino, uh, in a campus. And this will be from July 23 to 25. We think that only the a virtual component is not enough to create a friendship, to create relation between the person. That's why it's also important to have the possibility to meet in person. In Valle Maggia, a very nice place. I went uh, with Tatiana some weeks ago, visiting the place, a very nice place out in the nature. Finally, uh, or not, uh, we are, it's very important for us, for the Swiss National Supercomputing Center to meet uh, our user, existing user, future users. And uh, this time we will meet uh, in, uh, on September 2nd in Bern. Bern is very good for Switzerland because it's very central. People from the different parts of Switzerland can join there. Last year, we have been in Lucerne. This time, we are going to Bern, uh, to the capital of Switzerland. And for the user lab, they uh, save the date. And uh, then you can follow on our web pages if you would like to register. And we are, in any case, sending an email to our, all our users. 
Again, uh, programming is also important, uh, and uh, we are again organizing an Eurohack with different sponsors from industry. The year, uh, Eurohack 22, which will be on GPU programming, had, will be a GPU programming hackathon, will take place in September 27 to 29. And uh, there we are offering this service to community of code, people de uh, developing some codes, they join. So as a group as a team and then we support them porting their code uh, to the GPU environment and uh, we really uh, it's now many years we are uh, uh, carrying out this uh, hackathon very successful and uh, with very good results and have very happy uh, participants as you can see on this picture and uh, okay the date is this one finally the year is closing so we are uh, arriving in uh, the autumn and uh, we are going after two years again to the supercomputing 20 uh, conference uh, supercomputing 22 will be in dallas and uh, we already have the robust number uh, boost number which is 3102 and uh, there if you are in the states and you are missing some uh, swiss chocolate and swiss uh, coffee uh, come and visit us Yes, that's all from my side. And uh, I thank you again, all the organize, organizing committee and, uh, the, and uh, Swiss for the Swiss conference and, uh, and, Swiss, uh, and the HPC XXL user group uh, to be to join in this virtual conference and wish you all the best for the next day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michele. Uh, so People can ask questions via the Q&A window, and our speakers will be happy to answer those questions at the end of their presentation. I'd like to go ahead and open it up um, for Hussein, uh, see if we have any questions come in at the last moment. Hussein, do you have any questions for McKelly or anything <laughs> to add? Thanks, uh, Brian. Now, I would like to add one thing. You know, we, we started a discussion when we were talking with Gilad about um, the cloud part, and Michele mentioned the Alps, Alps machine. And this is an, an excellent example of this merge and uh, combination between cloud and HPC. So this machine allows really not only combines this, but also offers additional stuff where, where, where users will be able to customize the machine at different levels. I mean, from the OS level to the dimension of the, you'll be, there will be possibility to create a group of, of bare metal nodes to create their own cluster where they will be always running HPC there. And this is, this is a power of, of this machine. So we'll, we'll see more about it and all these details tomorrow with a keynote of Sadaf. That's only I would like to add to um, Mikhail's talk. Thank you. Thank you, Hussein. Uh, so far, I don't see any other questions come in. So, Mikhail, thank you so much for helping open this conference. Perfect. Thank you. Have a nice day.